In this movie, I'm going to show you how to edit a bunch of files at one time, batch edit files. I find this incredibly useful. They'll start by opening an image. And we'll just pick this one. Just so that I can record basically a macro. In Adobe, we're calling this an actions file. So I'm going into the Window tool, and under Window, I'm going to open up Actions. And there's a bunch of existing actions, but what I want to do is I want to create a new one. And I'm going to call it Optimize for Web. I do this all the time. Um, so this is something I really want to be able to do. It's in the set of default actions, which is fine. I don't have another set here, and I'd have to create one. I'm not going to assign a function key to it. Um, I might make all of mine green so that I know what mine are as compared to the existing ones. Then I'm going to hit record. And it's going to record all of the actions that I do. So let's say that I just by default want to use my auto tone, auto contrast, and auto color. Usually I like those. I don't always. But I'm just showing you how I would optimize a whole bunch of files at once. I typically do this if I'm doing remodeling or something and I want to put up a bunch of photos that I don't want to take the time to edit individually. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my image size and I'm going to set it to maximum width of 600 pixels and maximum resolution of 72. I'm okay with that. Alright, and then I'm going to choose File save for web and I want to select it as a JPEG um, yeah medium, medium quality is what I'm looking for and hit save and that's all good I'm gonna hit save you'll notice that it just has the export window open so it's gonna change levels 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 image size and export well I'm done that's all I want to do and let's show you how you'd apply that so I want to do that to the whole folder. So I'm going to go into Automate. And I'm going to use Batch. Default Actions, Optimize for Web. I'm going to choose Folder, which will be, let's see, I should have my pictures in here. And I want to choose them, the ones from May 23rd. Let's make sure that's the right one. Yeah, it is. Bunch of images from when I went to Ireland. And I'm not going to worry about any of those. My destination is going to be a folder. And I'm going to choose the practice file on my desktop because I was already working in there. You can change these. And instead of image, I'm going to change it to Ireland. I do like a two-digit serial number. If I had a lot more, I'd do a three-digit serial number. I'm going to change the serial number to start with 01 and I'm going to hit OK. And we should be able to watch it and OK, OK. I'm going to have to hit OK each time it saves. So all of my pictures are automatically being resized. Now this would put them into a reasonable size for me to upload to Facebook, to put on a web page, this is really optimizing a bunch of them at once, which, like I said, if I'm putting them on Facebook or something and I just want to have a whole bunch of photos dumped quickly and I'm not really worried about hand editing each one, this is a really good way to do that. Because as you can see, I'm editing a whole bunch of photos, resizing them, making sure that they're optimized for the web, optimizing the colors, and it's happening extremely rapidly. This is way faster than going through and doing this myself. And then I'm done. And so I can now I can hit escape here. I'm going to stop that. I think I actually ran into a raw file, which I wasn't intending. But I should have on my desktop the new file that I created, which would be practice. So here's my practice file. And you'll see each one has been 
optimized with a maximum width of 600 or 600 by 800 which would make sense because these were all taken with my iPhone so they all started at the same size and so everything was nicely optimized and it's ready to go and if I wanted to upload these all to Facebook or something they're now a reasonable size that won't take forever to upload being able to edit a bunch of things in batch is incredibly convenient and will save you a lot of time